Hey everyone, at long last I have seen London Road and I can finally talk about this. When I first heard that they were doing a musical about the Ipswich murders, the Ipswich Ripper in London, on London, in London Road and Ipswich, I thought, really? What? And everybody else had the same reaction. All of the news stories were, how can you make a musical about something so tragic? But it works 100%. Now my main attraction with the film was Olivia Colman who is in this quite a lot and um, we also have the original National Theatre cast as well as far as I'm aware. And I guess I should address the musical element first. It works on every level. I guess it's kind of like saying how can you make a musical out of Les Mis because the songs are so effective and they're so powerful and they do kind of pull out your emotions and make you feel part of it. Um, my favourite song is, I think it's called Very Very Nervous, at least that's the main lyric in it. Um, but we get kind of a variety of songs, there's also a, a, a tiny bit of humour in some of the earlier songs and then they switch and it becomes a lot more uh, severe. But the music, the music isn't actually about the murders, it's about the community and how they responded to them and then how they built themselves back up afterwards. And one of the things that is so clever is that most, if not all, of what is said came from actual interviews with people, the residents of London Road and those who experienced uh, the trauma. So what we're actually hearing are the words of people who were actually interviewed and actually involved in in being kind of part of the whole story, if you like, and it's just phenomenal. I think the use of colour in this is incredible, especially when you've got the crowd scenes. Mainly it's kind of black, it's very dark and grey, um, but we have occasional pops of colour that really draw your eye, specifically with the police high-vis jackets. There was one scene where basically everything was grey, um, apart from the, the, the bright yellow high-vis jackets, which obviously when you look at it, it's garish and it's in your face and you know that you know there are problems. Um, so I think from a, a directing perspective, even without the music, it is very powerful and a lot it looked different to what I expected. I don't know what I expected, so I don't know how I can say that. But just watching it, it's, I was completely hooked. As I said, it is about more so how the community responded and building them up rather than the actual murders themselves. And we get a lot of different perspectives. We get perspectives from the prostitutes who knew the prostitutes that were murdered. Uh, we get the residents' perspectives. And we also have the journalists. And I do have to say, I think the news should be sung more frequently. It definitely makes it a lot, uh, a lot more captivating if the news is sung. Uh, I'd say, this is just me estimating, but I'd say 65% of this is sung. There is actual dialogue in this as opposed to uh, vocals, but no matter what's going on, it's so easy to just pay 100% attention and I do think it's educational because I was 13, I think, when this actually happened and obviously I, I can't remember it, I haven't got a clue that this was going on, so for me especially it was very educational. Although the murder victims were all women, they were all female prostitutes, it's not just a case of the, the female residents of London Road are going to be scared, it shows you how the men felt as well and how they felt like everybody was staring at them and judging them and obviously you would look at every man and think is that the murderer because nobody had a clue who it was or who it could have been until of course an arrest was made. So it, it really does give you a full round perspective of how different residents and different people within the community responded. In all though, and what I hadn't expected when I first sat down to watch this, it's a very heartwarming film in a way, especially as it progresses and the community starts building itself up again. It's a very happy film in, in certain ways, a happy musical and Honestly, the, the use of colour completely switches around at the end. It's very grey and dark at the beginning towards the end. It's bright and floral and colourful. Um, and I think it, it kind of really gets at the heartstrings quite a lot. Both because you, you feel for them with the fear and then you just want to be part of this happy community and it's just, it, it's wonderful. It really is. Obviously Olivia Colman is awesome in this and I love her and I could listen to her singing again and again and again and I will. I do hope they release a physical CD soundtrack of the songs. I believe there's a digital download version but I would actually like a hard copy CD of the film version. There is a CD version of the stage version. Um, but it is brilliant and I do hope to catch it on stage at some point if it returns to stage because it may well become one of my favourite musicals. If you haven't seen London Road, you have to. I think it is reinventive of film and of musicals and it was absolutely phenomenal and I'm so glad that I heard about it. I actually heard about it through like a news story, otherwise I probably wouldn't have heard about it.
which is a shame. But let me know what you think and I will speak to you all soon. Bye!